So there was a question from someone that wanted to know when not to take bile salts. Is there any contraindication? So I wanted to create this video for that person. First of all, most people need bile salts and usually they're not producing enough. Bile salts are made by the liver and they're stored in the gallbladder. And when the gallbladder stores the bile salts, it concentrates them up to 20 times. So it's a super concentrated uh, mixture to help break down fats. So you can extract the fat soluble vitamins and the essential fatty acids from the food that you eat. The pancreas releases lipase, an enzyme to break down fats, and then it'll actually help to uh, dissolve this fat into the small particles. So you can utilize the nutrients from the fat. So we make about a quart of bile every single day. And 90% of the bile is recycled through the small intestine. Bile is also necessary to help a person detoxify chemicals from the liver and out through the body. And it's a very important compound. And you can also take purified bile salts to help you with the digestion of fats and also to prevent the formation of gallstones because gallstones come from a deficiency of bile salts. But there's certain situations where you wouldn't want to take them. Number one, if you had diarrhea. Why? Well, because purified bile salts help to uh, retain fluid in the colon and they help to lubricate food going through the colon. So if you have diarrhea and you take purified bile salts, guess what? You're going to get more diarrhea. So you don't want to do that. Number two, hyperthyroid. The liver and the bile salts help in the conversion of T4 to T3, okay? 80% of this conversion happens to the liver and 20% happens to the kidney. So if your thyroid is already making too much of the active form of thyroid hormone, which is T3, and you add more bile salts and make more T3, you're gonna make it worse. So you don't wanna recommend bile salts to anyone with a hyperthyroid state. But on the flip side, if you have a hypothyroid condition, you would wanna take it because it's gonna help you convert from T4 to T3. In fact, it could be the reason why your thyroid is slow in the first place. Third reason why you wouldn't wanna take purified bile salts is that if you have some type of bile malabsorption problem, now that could be caused because your intestines are not absorbing the uh, bile salts because you have Crohn's disease, which is an inflammatory condition, or celiac, which is another inflammatory condition, or small intestine bacterial overgrowth, which will mess up the balance of bile. And there's other conditions as well. So because purified bile salts gets recycled and you also need help by your microbes, if you have a problem with either one and this bile is concentrating, you don't wanna take more. Now, some people that have the gallbladder removed have a situation where there's too much bile because the tube is uh, maybe too large and it's just draining right into the small intestine. In that case, they're usually gonna have diarrhea and your doctor will recommend a bile acid binder. And here's one medication that they use, but there's many more. You can check with your doctor on that, but it's a way to inhibit or slow down the bile in your body. But the problem with that, it comes with certain side effects because now you're gonna have the inability to absorb certain fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K because you're binding these bile salts. But if your body is making too much bile or you have too much bile, um, realize that the trigger for bile production is saturated fats. So one thing you're probably gonna wanna do is lower the amount of fats in your diet to about 60 grams per day, uh, not any lower than that because you need the fats. But if you have too much bile in the first place, you don't wanna start triggering more by adding more saturated fats. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.